hello everyone this video lecture contains different types of logic gates and explanation of that logic gates with the help of ladder diagram if you know how to draw ladder diagram with the help of any software then you can easily understand working principle or how that logic gates are working so let us start with and gate in previous lecture i have already shown how to draw ladder diagram for the and in given ladder diagram for the and gate consists of three open contact switches w x y and output coil is connected to the output zero that output zero is connected to the flashlight here output zero is connected which is connected to the flashlight let us see simulation w switch is on now no output is getting again if you press x switch again no output is getting if you press y switch then output is getting means if you look at the truth table when all switches are high then output is high means input is all inputs are high output is high if any input is low then output is low high means 1 low means 0 now let us see for the OR gate it consists of two switches X and Y in table if you look let us make a switch on C or put is on if you make Y switch on output is also getting so that anyone switch press output is no or if you press both switches output is on this is about the OR gate let us stop the simulation now take the one example there are three types of switches are given or three types of keys are given x y and z to open the vault the condition is given that to open the vault any two switches are <coughs> to open the vault any two switches are required that is combination of x y x z or y z to open the door to open the door of vault so let us see simulation I have made the combination see here simulation x switch x keys available y keys available then door is open if Y and Z keys is available, door is open. Means to open the door of vault, any two any two keys are required. This is the application of OR gate to open the door of vault. Next logic gate is the NOT gate. This output is high or on, output is low or off. Now X switch is normally closed switch which is connected to the push button when you press the X switch or push button output get off normally closed switch gets open so that output get de-energize this is the NOT gate now move towards the next gate NAND gate NAND gate is the combination of NOT and AND gate if both switches are on output is OFF means when two inputs are on 
output is off when two inputs are off output is on if you look at the truth table you get the idea about this NAND gate the application of NAND gate is see the application of NAND gate using system of an automobile a car needs to be so designed that the driver gets a visual indication if any of the door of the car is open so that it helps to avoid accident and injury to the passengers assuming there are two doors just for simplicity it works for more doors as well where this system is fitted the circuit can be designed using a NAND gate as follows this is the ladder diagram I have created for front door and back door which are connected to the normally open switch this coil is virtually connected and output is connected to the alarm and parallel to that indicator is connected now let us simulation now both doors are open so the alarm is on suppose front door is open back door is open front door is open alarm gets on when back door is open alarm gets on means anyone door is open alarm gets on the alarm gets only off for when both doors are closed to avoid the accidents now let us move towards the next logic gate that is XOR gate XOR gate indicates if you look at the truth table when both inputs are same output is zero that is when both inputs are high output is low when both inputs are low output is also low now see x and y switch let us see simulation x is on output gets on when y is on output gets zero Now let us see next concept that is related to the interlocking. Generally interlocking concept is held to design a ladder diagram for the design the lifts to stop the accidents or to, to avoid the inconvenience in the lifts. Two motors are connected, one is the forward motor and reverse motor. Carefully see the ladder diagram for the interlocking how the switches are used and they are interlinked let us see simulation when forward motor gets on if you try to start reverse motor if you press the switch you don't get any output for the reverse motor to get the output for the reverse motor you have to first Stop the forward motor. Let's see here. To get the output in the reverse motor, first you have to stop the forward motor. Similarly, to get the output in the forward motor, you have to first stop the reverse motor. This concept is called as the interlocking. Now see. To make the reverse motor on, you have to first stop the forward motor.
Now next condition is push to start and push to stop means you have to make output on and off by using only single push button. Now see how they are connected, how they are interlinked. Addresses shows the how the content switches and output coils are connected to the output. Now let us see simulation. If I press this switch, output gets on. If I similarly I press the same switch, and again if I If again I press the same switch, output gets off. See here, on. If I press again it, off. On. Off. With the single push button, you can make the system on and off.